All right, so uh, this lesson is going to be all about adding and subtracting polynomials. So make sure you watch the first two videos I posted on uh, polynomials and creating polynomial expressions uh, before you watch this video. Um, the first thing that you need to know about adding and subtracting polynomials is, well, let's just do a quick refresher here. If I Here's an example of a polynomial. So let's say if I have um, two uh, x, y squared. So this is an example of a polynomial. Now remember that this part is the variable, right? And those are unknown values, x and y. And this part is the coefficient. Okay, so remember that the number in front is the coefficient and the variable or the letter part is the variable. So with that known, um, there's another important point when you're trying to add or subtract polynomials is you can only add or subtract like terms. Okay, and what I mean by like terms is I mean they have the same variable. Okay, so when I look at this first example, um, it says 2x squared plus 3xy minus 4x squared plus 2xy. Well, if we look at it, the 2x squared and the negative 4x squared are the same variable. So they are like terms because they both have an x squared variable here that's the same. They're not the same as this xy because it's a different variable. xy is different than x squared. So 2x squared and the negative 4xy, those can be added or subtracted together. Well, let's see, 2 and negative 4. So if we combine 2 and negative 4, um, you get negative 2x squared, because 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So negative 2x squared. And then we can also combine uh, these terms here, the 3xy and the 2xy, well 3xy and plus 2xy is 5xy. So this is the final answer here, is 2x squared, or sorry, negative 2x squared plus 5xy. Okay, let's try another example. So the second one here, um, if we look, we gotta look very carefully, which ones have the same variable? Well. I see that negative 2xy squared is the same variable or like term with negative 3xy squared. So those two can be joined up and negative 2 plus a negative 3. Now remember your integers. If you don't remember how to add two integers together, then uh, you're going to have to review that. So negative 2x squared, xy squared minus 3xy squared will give us negative 5xy squared. Now if you look at it, the the 3x squared y is different than the 2x because it's an x and an x squared y and this is x y squared. So they have to be the same in order to add them. So that one just remains 3x squared y and this one is plus 2x like that. Okay, the next example here is a little bit more complicated because we have an additional set of brackets. Uh, but if we remember our rules that we can only add or subtract like terms when we're adding or subtracting polynomials, then it's going to become a lot easier. So I see that we have the like term of 5x squared y and the 2x squared y. And I also see that I have negative 2x squared and 1x squared here. Okay, now it's a little bit trickier because you have some brackets there. So we got to somehow figure out what that means. And so we have 5x squared y, and we have 2x squared y, but there's a negative outside the brackets, which means we are subtracting this whole term in there. And remember that this would be a binomial because it has two terms. And remember that anything with two terms is a binomial. So 5x squared y subtract the 2x squared y is 3x squared y. Okay, because 5 subtract the 2 is x squared y, and then this one is negative 2x squared y minus 1x squared y. This negative applies to the second term in there as well, because it's in brackets or in parentheses that this negative here applies to the second term as well. So negative 2x squared 
then you have minus 1x squared is negative 3x squared. Okay, so negative 2x squared minus 1x squared is negative 3x squared, and that would be your final answer. Okay, so that's how you simplify and add and subtract polynomials. Make sure that you only add and subtract polynomials with the same variable or like terms.